Welcome to the show. Today, we are honored once again to have Professor Janice bear with us in the studio. Thanks, Jake. I'm happy to be here again. Now, you're back because you've got a special message for the gaming world. Is that correct? Yes, I do, Jake. That message is, software patents are harmful to innovation. Just recently Hello Games was the target of a patent troll due to a math formula. Is this in response to that? Yes it is Jake. The math formula in question itself cannot be legally patented. What is dubious is a patent on how that math formula can be used. So, a math algorithm cannot be patented unless it is tied to an application. Unfortunately yes, and that is the problem. Software and math formulas are abstract concepts something which patents were never intended to be used for. Patents were intended for physical inventions with moving parts. There are only so many ways something can work using mechanical parts. Software, on the other hand, can be written many different ways. Using a math formula a certain way is an abstract idea, and if you allow abstract ideas to be patented then you open a dangerous doorway. Exactly what is dangerous about it? You need only look at the broken state of the United States patent system to see it. Because of a software patent Microsoft is earning billions from licenses on an operating system that does not belong to them. Several years ago, there was a patent battle over a shopping cart button on a website. And Congress itself was affected by a dispute over a patent covering mobile devices receiving email. I remember that one. It was a case that brought patent trolls into the public awareness. It was a case that hit BlackBerry devices, which many members of Congress were using at the time. Yes. The company that held that patent was purely in the business of holding patents so they could sue other companies for money. What they were essentially doing was hoarding ideas, patents on concepts that did not cover mechanical devices. They were patents on abstract concepts. The way the patent system works today, I can patent the concept of licensing ideas, and that patent would be legal. I think you can understand why that would be a problem. Yes, what would be the incentive to innovate, if every idea under the sun was locked behind a license fee? A vaguely worded patent, for instance, one which governs using a math formula with an application would have a broad impact. Basically. Any application that used a math formula would be covered by the patent, and the patent holder would have the legal power over whatever product that the patent covers. But there are when they could legally have any product pulled from shelves whenever they chose. Or, legally demand any company using those products or applications pay them a licensing fee. This is exactly what Microsoft is doing with Android. They have a portfolio of vaguely worded patents which were secret until the Chinese government disclosed them a few years ago. Patents which Microsoft is using to force cellular phone manufacturers to pay licensing fees for using the Android operating system. In the case of No Man's Sky, a Dutch company called Genicap claims to hold the patent on the super formula which the game supposedly uses. Since you cannot patent math formulas themselves, they patented the application of that formula for 2D and 3D graphics, what exactly does this super formula do? A Belgian plant geneticist named Johan Gielis developed an elegant math formula which accurately replicates how shapes in nature are formed. Everything from a simple creature like a starfish, to a tree, to a outcropping of rock, and even to a human being. The super formula allows for amazing complexity, and No Man's Sky uses this formula to incredible effect. Also, it does it without requiring massive amounts of computing power and vast amounts of memory. What is dubious, is it was known for more than a year that Hello Games used this formula. Now with the launch just a little over two weeks away this company suddenly speaks out. Hello Games was recently attacked for the word sky. The idea that you can trademark and control the use of a word is itself dubious. But, we're straying from the topic at hand a bit. Is there any indication that Genicap may force yet another delay of the game? At the moment, no. A representative of Genicap stated as much. We can go around and around on this all day, but my main point is patents on abstract concepts, and on broad big concepts are fundamentally wrong. They stifle innovation. It empowers government and forced extortion. This is not the intended purpose for patents. Like copyrights, 
they are being used beyond their intended scope, and this is having a very negative effect on our global economy. I understand it's gotten so bad that there is a patent non-aggression organization centered around Linux. It has so many member corporations that even Microsoft may be forced to join the organization to make it easier to do business with them. Because the patent system is so broken, other industries are looking into forming their own patent non-aggression organizations as a way to work around the problem. It's said that it has to come to that, but until the patent system is fixed this may be the only solution. Meanwhile, let us hope that this doesn't cause yet another delay for No Man's Sky. Janice, it's been great having you on the show again. Thank you. I'm always glad to come on the show and talk about important subjects like this. Janice, how can viewers help? Contact your local representatives and state senators. Call them, write them, and email them. But don't just stop there, keep it up. Don't stop until your voice is heard. It is the only way we're going to get through to them. It's said it has to be this way. But until they start putting the needs of the people ahead of the wants of big corporate special interests, this is the way it has to be. We must become the loudest voice in the room. What if you aren't in the United States? The same replies, though in the EU it is harder because of a number of reasons I'm not going to get into right now. Look up Brexit the movie on YouTube if you want to know more. That is all I will say. Well, Janice, thank you, and thank all of you for watching. Are we nearly there? Yes, don't worry, the safe house isn't far. You don't have to be nervous, this is a safe place. I always feel safe when I'm with you. The intruder is breaking through the security bulkheads, Professor. Their systems are being corrupted when he touches them, and I'm unable to find an effective countermeasure. You won't find one. There's only one way to fight what is coming. What is that, sir? With the truth, Fanbot. The truth is his only weakness. He is nearly here. Open the doors, I'm going to him. It is time we ended this.